today I'm be doing a Valentine's Day simple makeup and outfit video. I'm not gonna show you guys hair, but just simple makeup and an outfit idea. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and also follow me on my Instagram, which is Maddie underscore Elizabeth twenty five. I just changed my profile pic on there, so it's not the one I used to have, and I literally just changed it. I think I changed my bio a few weeks ago, so kind of recently as well. But yeah, definitely go follow me on there. Maddie underscore Liz25. We have around 255 followers on there, more or less. And also follow me on my Snapchat or go add me. My Snapchat is pink out 25 I used to not use it very much. Well, at first I used it kind of often, and then I stopped kind of. And then now I'm using it again, so I'm trying to be more active on there. So definitely go follow me on there. So definitely follow me on Snapchat and Instagram. Well, I add me on Snapchat and follow me on Instagram. And also subscribe to the, my channel, which is this right here. So yeah, with all that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And let's get into it. Okay, you guys. So, first off, I'm be starting off with my base for the makeup look. And for that, I'm be using my, also I already primed using my Garnier Skin Active Moisturizer, which is what I use for my primer. I did that off camera just to save us some time. And I'm going to be speeding up this part because in a few of my videos, I've already shown how I do this. But basically, I'm going to be doing my base, which is going to be my Maybelline Dream BB Fresh. It's a BB cream with SPF 30, shade light medium, and I'm going to be using my Tarte Shape Tape, which is also in light medium, and add my, that's going to be my concealer. I blend this stuff in using my e.l.f. brush and my Beauty Blender, and then I'm going to put on some powder, which I just used this brush for, and I just dropped my Beauty Blender, and so yeah, that's basically the base for my face. And now for my brows, I'm going to be doing this in a separate clip because then the face stuff is going to be in one clip and then the brows is going to be another clip. But I kind of kind of like to call this part of my base. But I do my brows. And the reason I call this part of my base is because if I, like, I consider my base what I usually do only like every day. So yeah. Okay, you guys, so now I'm doing using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Brow Pencil to fill in my brows. And I'm going to also do a time lapse of this. Then I'll show you guys everything else that I'm going to do. I already did my base, which was BB cream, concealer, and powder. So, yeah, let's get into the brows. Okay, guys, so right now I am done doing my brows I believe I have a short time lapse of me doing it and also same with the base of my face I have a short time lapse of that well actually I'm not sure how long it is but yeah so now I'm gonna do my blush now this isn't a part of my normal everyday stuff I usually just do like some BB cream concealer and then like brows and lips but yeah I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna be using the dandelion blush from Benefit, I'm not going to be wearing the bronzer, just blush, and then some highlight, and then mascara and lips. So, yeah, I'm going to apply that right now using my brush, which is by the brand Stila, I believe. And so I'm going to apply that on my cheeks. Okay guys, so now I am done applying my blush. Um, I think it looks pretty natural. You can't really tell I have it on. But I applied it to the apples of my cheeks. So yeah, that's what that looks like. So now I'm going to apply some highlighter. And for the highlighter, I'm going to use my What's Up highlighter. Again, also by Benefit. Because um, it's the only highlighter that I have. But it's a really good one. This is what it looks like. And so I'm going to apply that a little bit not too much also i know this looks kind of like a lot but i'm gonna use it in multiple places and so yeah i'm gonna apply it to my nose here 
here and maybe a little bit here. So yeah. So now that I'm done with my highlight, also I tried to blend it in, but you know, I did my best. I blend, I tried to blend it in with a stiffling blush, brush, but it, like, you know, you can only do so much. But yeah, so now I'm gonna use my Vivio mascara for my mascara. Okay, guys, so sorry for the lighting, but like, yeah, I guess the sun just decided to kind of be, you know. It kind of messed up the lighting, but yeah. I'm going to go into my mascara right now, which is the benefit of the real mascara. Okay, guys, so now I'm going to move on to the last step because I'm not going to go in with eyeshadow. Um, and my last step, basically, or my last two steps, I guess, I'm going to go in with some chopstick. Now, this doesn't really do anything, but it moisturizes my lips, which I think is very helpful for the next step. And now the next step is going to be applying some NYX Intense Butter Gloss. This is the butter gloss. Also, yeah, I'm fixing the um, camera so that it, you know, doesn't fall or anything. And so this is the butter gloss. Also, sorry for the background noise. What it looks like. So I'm going to apply it to my lips. Okay, you guys. So I'm using this NYX butter gloss. And I have a baby wipe um on my lap because in case I need, because it's very intense. So, basically, what I have the baby wipe, I'm going to wipe down the lipstick, I guess, to get rid of a decent amount of it. Also, you guys, I'm not the best at applying this. And it's very intense. Okay, guys, so it looks really intense, and I just finished applying it. Actually, it does kind of look like what it does on in the bottle. Um, so now I'm going to pat this down with a baby wipe. Yup. Um, now the thing is, because it's so intense, it doesn't remove it all. But it removes a good amount of it so that it looks a bit more natural in my opinion. And now I'm just going to wipe the sides. Okay guys, so I wiped the side. Uh, I bet that I could at least. And now that's pretty much it. It definitely looks still pretty intense. But it doesn't look as intense as it did. So I definitely really like this color. If you guys want to go for the more intense look, you guys can obviously not do what I did with a baby wipe. Also, I'm going to show you guys, like, how much actually came off. Like, that a lot, yet there's still a lot on there. A good amount. So that's what I do with this. So yeah, that's literally it for the makeup look. Now, last but not least, I'm going to... I sprayed some... Tarte Rainforest to see Facial Mist. <coughs> I didn't get any in my mouth and my eyes. 
um, which is good, but I just sprayed some of that on, and yeah, that's it for the makeup look, and now on to the outfit. So, for my top, I am wearing this pink sweater that I got from Target. In real life, it is a lighter pink wand radio with like a darker pink. Also, I think I forgot to mention it, but I did cut my hair recently. So, yeah, that is what the sweater looks like. And for my bottoms, I am wearing this pair of leggings, which are also from Target. And my Adidas actually rose gold, but they look like a lighter pink. And they also kind of match my sweater that I'm wearing. And it's a great look for Valentine's Day. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully, it gave you guys a little bit of inspiration for Valentine's Day. I might be doing a decor and gift idea for Valentine's Day video. But I'm not sure, because I don't even know if this will be up by Valentine's Day. I'm pretty sure it will be up a couple days before that. But yeah. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know what you guys want to see next on this channel. And yeah, also go follow me on my Instagram, which is Maddie underscore Elizabeth 25. I definitely have a lot more new posts coming soon. And also, subscribe to this channel, and follow my Snap, or add me on Snapchat, which is PinkOut25. And with all that being said, bye guys, and see you guys next time.